you asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. Guys, this video has been on my list for a long time, and when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be really, really hard. And it wasn't easy, but I found it more quickly than I thought I would. Just a reminder, guys, that the dummies in Washington are trying to stop us from using this place, so in case you don't already know, you can also find me over there. So what can we see? This video is recorded at what appears to be a park or maybe some kind of campground. And guys, there are not a ton of clues here. In fact, I stared at this for like 10 minutes before I found anything useful at all. It's actually kind of a long video, nearly three minutes long. But there are only a handful of things that are really useful in all that time. The first is this restroom, which was fairly distinctive looking. We also catch just a glimpse of what looks like a vault toilet here. You may remember that I learned all about vault toilets back in Season 2, Episode 15 in Chincoteague, Virginia. Anyway, I was a little bit surprised to see a vault toilet or what appeared to be a vault toilet since it was very close to the restroom, but I don't know. Next, the person shows us this post here that has trail markings and icons on it. I'll come back to that. Then they very nearly show us this informational board here, which looks like it might have a map of the area. But guys, I tried really hard to pause and zoom in, and I couldn't find anything useful here. Next, they show us a picnic area with tables and benches, and we can see a body of water beyond that. They also show us this dilapidated gazebo here. Then the video ends with this person walking along the trail that's on the left side of the gazebo, and we can see that there's water on both sides of the trail. And right at the end, they reach this concrete pad that has an informational board on it, but we never get close enough to see what's on it. Okay, so those trail markers seemed like the best clue I had here. I wondered if the markers that are used in different states and in different state parks might be distinctive enough that this would tell me what state it is. So I just started looking at all sorts of images of marker posts like this. And I wasn't finding too much at first, but then I spotted this photo. That looked very similar to what I saw in the video, and it was from a site called South Jersey Trails. So I wondered if this might be New Jersey. I tried to do a bit more Googling for New Jersey trail photos to see if I could find other markers that looked the same. And while I didn't find too much to help me confirm that, I did find this photo of a vault toilet, which looked very much like what we see in the video. That was from a site called New Jersey Hiking, so I was thinking New Jersey was sounding more and more plausible. And guys, once I started putting together those details, I realized that if you look at the video, it does have kind of a New Jersey Pine Barrens vibe. But I confess that I did not immediately pick up on that. Okay, so I thought this might be New Jersey, so I started looking for trails that allowed horseback riding in New Jersey. I figured there couldn't be too many. One of the first results I got was from a site called All Trails. They had a list of what they called the best horseback riding trails in New Jersey. I was surprised to find that 72 trails were on that list, so I guess I was wrong about how many there might be. And I have to say, guys, if you're creating a list of the best of something, and it's 72 items long, I wonder if you set the bar high enough. Anyway, so I started looking through them, hoping to find something that looked like it might be what I saw in the video. I tried to focus on the ones that are in the Pinelands National Reserve, because I figured those were more likely to be right than ones that were like in northwest New Jersey, where it's a bit more mountainous. And guys, I looked through pretty much all the parks and trails that were listed on that map in that area, and I wasn't finding anything that looked right, and past the point, it all started to look the same. So I took a short break from this one. When I came back to this, I considered looking at the other locations on that list that were in different areas in New Jersey. But the list was pretty long and a bit daunting, so I decided that before I did that, I should Google to see if I could find any other information. So I just tried searching again for horseback trails in New Jersey. And that's when I found this other site called Top Horse Trails. That had a page that listed horse camps in New Jersey. And the list wasn't too long, so I started looking at it. The first location was in Farmingdale, New Jersey, which is not in the Pine Barrens, so I skipped it. The next was in Wharton State Forest, which I had already looked at because it was on the All Trails list. Then the third, fourth, and fifth locations, Cheesequake, Stokes, and Worthington, were all outside of the Pinelands Reserve area, so I decided to skip those too. But the sixth and final location on the list, Brandon T. Byrne State Forest, was in the Pine Barrens. But for some reason, it was not one that appeared on the All Trails website, so I had not checked it yet. The description said that the campground offered spacious sites with access to water and picnic areas. That sounded pretty promising, so I went to go check it out. And when I pulled up the Google Maps entry for that state forest, I found that there were many, many photos. Like thousands of them. But I just started going through them, seeing if I could find anything that looked like what I saw in the video. And guys, after a while, I found this. This building was almost certainly the same restrooms that we see in the video. And guys, that was it. You are here near Packham Pond in Brendan T. Byrne State Forest in Woodland Township, New Jersey. There isn't any street view in the forest, guys. Fortunately, I was able to find a user-submitted 360-degree photo that showed us the area near that gazebo. It was taken from the far side of the gazebo, so it's a slightly different angle than what we see in the video. But we can see the gazebo and also those restrooms beyond that. And if we turn left, we can see that picnic area and also that body of water that we saw in the video, which I learned is Packham Pond. And by the way, that spot at the end of the video with the concrete pad and the informational board, that is right over here where Cooper Branch meets Packham Pond. Finally, once I knew where this was, I was able to find a photo of that trail map that we see at the start of the video. It's for the Batona Trail. You can see that the bottom portion matches what we see in the video. 
Okay, it's time to check which previous location was closest to this one. And in this case, it's actually the bonus location that I found in Season 2, Episode 18. The main location in that video was in Staten Island, but the bonus location was in Tom's River. That's only about 20 miles or 32 kilometers away from this spot. If anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, Find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that, on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.